hoping for more daylight between the influence of all that money in Washington and the politics in this town, they have suffered a crushing defeat. Tucked within the $1 trillion budget approved by the U.S. Congress last weekend was a provision allowing the rich to give even more to political parties. CCTV's Daniel Reinches reports. The budget had to be passed to avoid a U.S. government shutdown. There wasn't much time for lawmakers to debate a measure raising the annual amount an individual can donate to a national party committee from about $97,000 to $776,000. It's a huge blow to those advocating major reforms to reduce the influence of donations on the political system. Someone who's going to hand over $700,000 usually wants something in return. And this provides the very wealthy and only the very wealthy, not you and I, only the very wealthy, direct access and with, with the means to unduly influence legislation and public policy. This is serious, corrupting legislation. Though there were opponents in both political parties to this new measure, supporters say the primary intention is to fund costly party conventions. It follows a decision by the Supreme Court in 2010 to enable unlimited donations to independent political organizations and unions without disclosure. I think philosophically it's consistent with the direction that we are, are moving as a country. Uh, in the first instance. And secondly is I think people do have a right to spend their money and not be limited by the government in, in matters in which, in the way they wish to, to do so. Lobbyist but and Republican presidential campaign advisor Adolfo Franco say, says yeah, the fact that these new limits require full public disclosure of large donations provides a restraint on corrupt practices and press, undue so influence. So that is, that's why I think our system works ultimately. Um, because of the disclosures that are required and because the activities of the parties themselves or individual candidates will be closely monitored and simply saying this person is doing the bidding of so-and-so. Opponents say they will indeed closely monitor individual contributions in order to show raised limits do corrupt the political process. Proponents say the majority of political funding for campaigns will still come from the thousands of very small donations. Big money is certainly no guarantee of success in politics, but this upshift in the limits that can be given directly dramatically raises the stakes in a debate about the influence of wealthy donors on the political process. Daniel Wrenches, CCTV, Washington.